Okay, here's summertime. Hope you like it. Maybe a little bit different than what you've heard. <coughs> In E minor. Six. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping. Your dad is rich and your mama's good looking. So hush a little baby, don't you cry. One of these mornings. Spread your wings and take to the sky. But till that morning, ain't nothing gonna harm you with my. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Your dad is rich and your mama's good looking. Now here's the chords I use. It's in E minor. Now of course the original in the opera Porgy and Bess was in B minor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me try that again. Or maybe not. So I'm in E minor now. And it's an E minor 6. Like there's the E minor 7. Uh, third fret, second string would be a 7. Like a... Uh, but I back it off a fret down to the second fret, second string. Fret E minor six. Like there's the five of the chord, which is the open B. Move it up to a C sharp, which is a six. Then I move that chord up a whole tone to an F sharp minor six. And I tried to catch this one. Uh, my both of these with one finger down here makes it a lot easier. Of course, I play this with my thumb, like I do all these chords. So I'm. So this would be two, four, four, two, four. And then just a straight up G, six. And this and I also try to get two strings with one finger. I'm getting better at it. a G6. It's like there's your G, there's your 6, of course there's your 7, 6. I catch that with my thumb. Now you can just do it like this and just mute the 5th string. But I, I like the fuller sound of getting that 5 down in there on the 5th string. So E minor 6, F sharp minor 6, G major 6th, go back and forth like that. Then I go to an A minor 6th, 
well actually it's an A minor 7 there now I hit a 6 there so I got a 7 and a 6 in the same chord but all together it sounds nice a uh, fish are jumping and the cotton and this is like a C7 there except I put move this one over here which almost makes it into a G minor 6. Actually, it is a G minor 6, and the 6 would be down here. And then, um, but I'm calling this a C 7th. And then this is a B 7th. And then uh, for that little passing chord, uh, I'll go to a straight B 7th here. And then um, put a D natural in here. F natural down here. So all together, kind of an ugly chord all by itself, but in passing, it's kind of nice. Uh, fish are jumping and the water is high. Uh, cotton is high. Your dad is rich. I like it because it, it begs to be resolved back to that minor. And then you're back to here. And your mama's good looking. And back to the minor. And now I'm just gonna go around the horn in G. Hush, little baby. It's an E minor. Could just as well do it down here. Little baby. Most people do it like this. It's an E minor. You could do it E minor seventh. Like that. Of course, I'm gonna go my thumb like that. minor and then uh, I do a C the same uh, seventh plus six which I, I just like the that chord shape that flavor Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Now back to this. so it's a uh, E minor F sharp minor G Sharp minor, E minor, A minor, C seventh, B seventh, whatever that chord is called, I have no idea. That's basically the way the thing goes. Um, for me, it can go however you want it to go for you. But that's my little version of it. And I like uh, the kind of either closed or semi-closed chords because you can get a little sock rhythm going with them. It keeps the beat going really nicely that way. And some would prefer summertime. finger picking stuff like, like pick, pick pinch anyway hope that helps thanks talk to you soon